Good morning, everybody. It is 10.03 a.m. Today we are gonna go to the Pearl Market in San Antonio. It opens at 10 and it closes at 2. These people are still sleeping. As you can see, I already took a shower, did my makeup, put on a cute outfit, and they're nowhere to be ready. So I'm going to wake them up now. I'm seeing if I talk if they'll wake up, but nothing's happening. Already 10 or 3. We're not gonna yeah. find parking. We will though, I promise. Wow. You see you guys? These lazy bums. And I didn't go to sleep till 3 a.m. I didn't go to sleep till 3.30. Shut up. Yes, sir. And Nikki gave Butters a haircut. He's been giving Butters a haircut since we've gotten him pretty much. Oh my gosh, I think Victoria just woke up. And Victoria woke up, I heard her crabbiness. Wait, <laughs> Lia! This is too early for her too. She usually doesn't wake up till like 11 or 12. Oh, yeah. Wow, rude. No, that's... Boing, boing. A lot more compared to the ones in Seattle. This is tiny. Yeah, the one in Seattle was like I don't know, four or five blocks maybe. Yeah, but literally we already went around twice because I was like, well, maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed a turn. We we're supposed to go, but no. It's maybe we like been on that side. Yeah, it's maybe like twenty. What, what would you call each one of these, Enrique? Stands. Twenty stands, maybe. That was it. We bought a few things though, and it's super we'll do a hot. Haul when we get home. Yeah, we'll do a haul. But Being a cry baby. oh yeah, Victoria started crying, but I think it's because it's hot out. <laughs> Ordered some lemonades from that stand in the blue, but we're waiting in the shade because it's so hot. Like look at Victoria, how sweaty she is. She's so sweaty. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has a mohawk. That's how sweaty she is. She she gets hot really easily. That's why she's all um, in a bad mood right now. Well, she's a Seattle baby. Oh, yeah. Seattle. And this girl, she doesn't care. She's like sweating too, but she doesn't fuss about it. Ooh, Ooh Enrique. 
Are you in it, Papa? Ooh. Is it yours? This one's mine. Cute. Yeah. So Enrique's is a probiotic raspberry yeah. drink. Tomale. Mine Tomale. is a herbal palmer. So it's like lemonade with herbs. Had like peppermint and... This is just a cup of ice. I don't know, a bunch of herbs. Mine is so good. It is? Let me taste it. Mmm. Here's really good. Mine tastes healthy. I taste the health. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's delicious, Enrique. It is pretty good, yeah. You, like, we like it, we usually use it with like a... Like okay, we had our fun of the pearl for the day. It was like a... We were there for maybe 30 minutes. A little bit longer, maybe like 45. 45? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's too hot, too many people and... Victoria's been so annoying. Victoria's... It's pretty hot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it's cute, but there wasn't that many things like I thought. I thought I was gonna be there able to get vegetables. I guess the pearls in downtown, so we're just seeing where we're gonna go next or if we're just gonna go home. I mean, we're already dressed all cute, might as well. No, you look cute. I just look like a grandpa. Yeah, Enrique went grandpa style today. Look, he's wearing a guayabera and his little dad hat. That's actually his dad's hat. No, it's mine. He gave it to me. Oh, well, yeah. So it's I'm wearing a uh, dad hat. Oh, no, they're all creased. Oh, Ooh. no. His damn Daniels. I, I went like this and they got all creased. Ah, stupid. Made it back. Enrique's buckling the children. We are gonna go to Sprouts to do some shopping so we can. I know, seriously. We're always in Sprouts. Store and we keep mentioning. I'm sure we already got like well, at least 10 of you. We used to say that about Target. Anyway, so. <laughs> So now we are gonna, yeah, get some ingredients since we bought chorizo. We're gonna have that to eat, but we need more ingredients in order to make the chorizo. Oh, it feels so good. It's cold in here. It was way too hot out there. I'm not used to this hot weather. We're all red. We all look like tomatoes. Look at Olivia. She's all red. Well, her cheeks are all red and sweaty. And Victoria, too. It's pretty red right now too. It's brown. It's brown. All right, let's go to Sprouts. <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is? Um, Sprouts is called Sprouts Farmers Market. We should have just gone to the Sprouts Farmer Market all along instead of this shit. Wow, you call it shit? Just, it kidding. I'm just I, kidding. I enjoy supporting small businesses. No, yeah, it was it was nice. Um, Wow, these glasses. Wait, Enrique <laughs> told me to wear these glasses today, but I feel weird. Um, you look really good, thank you. But yes, maybe even without kids. It's just everything's so hard with kids, you guys. It's a lot of work. Or actually, no, we just need a double stroller already or some kind of wagon. We need one because Victoria doesn't like walking in the hot weather, I've noticed. I don't blame her. I wish I could sit too. Cara Maria. <gasps> Ooh, and that's an old timer's car. It's, it's worth like five punches in the face. Best place in Texas. Chorizo. Victoria got this at the farmer's market and she cannot let go of it, of her chorizo. 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 Apples and bananas. That's all we got so far. What's left? Some tortillas? Uh, this is what's left. And this is what's right. <laughs> that's left, that's right. Let's go for some, I think tortillas and then we're good. Maybe some alcohol. Do some alcohol. Paleta. <laughs> she always gets a popsicle at Sprouts. Her paleta. Hmm. What's a good, what's a good, what are they called? Seltzer. I feel like I've had them all already. Boom. Chocolate? <laughs> Chocolate. Enrique has an obsession with chocolate. I don't. I just like this see. one a lot. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh yeah. I, I don't know why. With chocolate. Well, anyway, this is Enrique's favorite chocolate ever. As you can see, it's like almost gone because every time we come, which is like twice a week. Uh oh. Um, Enrique always gets this brand. It's such a basic oh, chocolate, no. but he's obsessed with it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <gasps> it has soy! Enrique's trying to avoid soy. Wow. That was you. Oh, no. You put it all wrong. It's not soy though. You're supposed to put this Chocolate like this. Hey. Can you tell everyone why you're avoiding soy? Just 
trying to avoid soy because soy produces estrogen and as a man I need testosterone, not estrogen. If I he want my body to so function. much soy that he ended up having two daughters. Exactly, I'm trying to have boys, so no soy for this boy. Are you trying to say we're gonna have another baby? Also, everybody always asks where our cats are. Like everybody thinks we got rid of them. We don't get rid of them. It's just they don't really like Victoria's kind of annoying to them. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. Like she's always like if they come out, Victoria just automatically goes and she wants to play, pet with them and play with them and they won't scratch her or anything, but they just kind of get annoyed because she gets obnoxious. They slapped her. They have slapped her, so that, that's literally what they do all the time. They're they just get out in to the, eat. they get out to use the yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just got back. Enrique, look at how good he is. He set everything up so we can show you guys what we got in case you care. Hire me for your food hauls. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with what we got at the Pearl Farmer's Market because, you know, they're more unique items. Let's talk about these. These soaps, they're organic. All natural. All natural, all natural, that's what it is. It's just yeah, like, yeah. you know, the ingredients are just simple things. You know, it is what it is. There's not like a bunch of things you can't pronounce. The and company is called by uh, by by Comi, by Calm, by, by, by Calm. They are goat milk soaps. Oh, is that what it is? Ooh, Natural, yeah, they all have all goat purpose, milk. skin smoothing and softening, relieving irritation, mm. etc. They smell delicious. We shower. Now. I shower every day, so I want to use natural stuff now. Yes. Currently got me into those. I got so. lemongrass because lemongrass is good for lightening. You want to be whiter? That's racist. No, not. Just like, you know, if you're kind of darker in your armpit area or... Or your ass Your area. ass area. <laughs> you just use some lemongrass and it's, it is known lemon, to like... Lemon your ass. Anyways, next item on the list. Beef bacon. Beef bacon. Have you ever heard of it or had it? I've never had it. I didn't even know it exists. Beef bacon, you guys. What the heck? It was pretty pricey, but... How much was this thing? 13 th Actually, no. 13 she, she charged me twelve fifty, so she gave me like a dollar discount. It's probably wow. old. I'm gonna, we're gonna have some of it today and then we're gonna freeze the rest. Yeah, the company is called Wagyu. Or that, Wagyu, whatever you That's prefer. the type of meat, the Wagyu. These people. Tio Pelon. Tio Pelon. They asked us if we wanted a sample, so we went and. We liked it. We it was, liked it's it. not, it didn't taste like the best. It was, it's good salsa, don't get me wrong, it's good, good sal salsa. It's not the best, but you know, they were nice, so we're like. They were yeah, nice, and I felt like out of all the stands, maybe it was just coincidence, but there was no one there. And we feel bad. So and when the last gonna... item from the sorry. Oh no! I just said we're gonna eat this right now with. And Dick is gonna make some chorizo. They had chorizo. Chorizo. They had chorizo there. So this is. I guess it's already cooked. But they heat it up and it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. So and now that's the transition for the first item on farmers market sprouts, which is this gouda sprouts. And the reason we got this is because we're gonna make chori queso. And Jake is gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. So he's gonna so cook. So this is gonna be a combination. And so what else? Someone this smell, you said. Yeah, the smell, because if you see it, it's not just like regular milk, it's like it's thick milk. Chunky like chunky milk. It's not as pasteurized, look, look. I think, that's what it is. I'm gonna flip it, and you're not even gonna see it come. You see? Yeah, like it doesn't fall. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. Oh my god, it's like a butter yeah. in there. It does say that like, you have to shake it like a. Well, you know, it sounds gross. People said it's really good. I was about to shake it. <laughs> and then all these just vegetables, whatever. And then the eggs, I've been getting pasteurized organic eggs because I heard somewhere, eat. yeah, like even if you get organic eggs or just regular eggs, like they have little to no nutrition. That's what I heard, okay? So they said that pasteurized, you know, the chickens are free, they're eating bugs and shit, and sh like literal shit. So they're just like healthier eggs. Now, last time we were with uh, our family, the Petersons, we had, the, well, we had these, they were really good. Wow, dog. <laughs> We like barely ever eat chicken nuggets, but when um, my sister-in-law made these for Victoria, I was like, damn, these are good. And you put this in the freezer already. Yeah. They're gluten-free. So we found the sprouts, I'm like, I'm gonna get those for when I don't feel like cooking. And that's it, that's all we got. So. Water and wine. Tons of water and wine. Yeah, so that's our whole for food. Now let's make the chorizo. Okay, yeah, totally do this. Well, you're just gonna feed, feed us, so. I'm really gonna feed us. <laughs> Look at them, they're cuddling. Dale un besito. Olivia. They're Rivera sisters. 
to love each other. Oh. <laughs> That's not adorable. I don't know what is. Baby Titter. Wee! I thought I was, was going to bend it. I was losing weight because I worked out yesterday. <laughs> oh, damn! Alright, the chori queso is ready. Let's turn this off. He was cooking low. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. When you were cooking this, I thought it was like an actual meal, but it's just like an appetizer. I, I told you, it's just like a like a yeah. um, dip. Ooh, wow. It's a mm. lot of cheese. What kind of cheese is that? The Gouda. Gouda jab. So it's good cheese? You can just, you can just, you don't need that much oil. All right. Let's see, what chips do you want to use? Um, well, these are potato chips, so that might be weird. Look at these. Jalapelos in line. When? Post Malone. Ooh, I want to go. It's going to be pretty hot, so. You ready? Yes. It smells like pizza. Mmm. That's really good. Churiquecho. Let's see. Wait, Victoria. Está caliente, bebé. I think it would taste good in a taco with beans. Okay, it would be tortillas. like a meal. Let's see Victoria's reaction. You ready, baby girl? Uh... Mm. Comételo, está rico. Ew. Recycle it. Delicious, recycle it. <laughs> ah. Ew. Okay, Basically. I'm gonna heat up the tortillas here with the oil. Yeah, so I made the um, tortillas with the oil that Enrique had put in the pan. So that's why the, they turned out red like this. And we're gonna add, since, the, since I had made birria tacos, we have a bunch of like onions and cilantro cut up. We're gonna add that with the salsa that we got from the farmer's from market. Pilk, pardon, from Bald Uncle. From Bald Uncles. Mm -hmm. So now, and Nico's saying this is just like a little chip and dip, but this, we made it. It can be anything, you know, usually they sell it as like an appetizer in restaurants, but you can eat it however you want, man. You wanna make a pizza with it? You wanna like do a torta, taco, sandwich? The sky's the limit. It's really, really good. Way better like that. It's bomb. Okay guys, so it's actually like three weeks later from that vlog. Um, we have, I think like two vlogs that we need to get out. Um, but Enrique's computer broke down, so that's why we've kind of been behind on editing and doing all that. So yeah, we have a couple vlogs coming up. It's, uh, we did a 70s photo shoot. I'll insert a little um, sneak peek right here. It was a really fun process. Anyway, we did a little 70s photo shoot and then we went to California. So we vlogged all that for you guys. We just got back from vacation two days ago. So Enrique went back to work today. I'm alone with the two bebes. Here's bebe number one and bebe number two. Actually, you came first, so you're bebe number one. Baby number two. Hmm? You're two babies. Babies. You're two babies. Mm hmm You're two babies. You're two babies in the world. You're two babies in this picture. Oh, um, yes. What was I gonna say? Oh, he's not here to say this, but I wanna thank you guys so much for finally reaching 30,000 subscribers. We actually say that in our next vlog. Like I said, we're just like, uh, I'm all mixed up with our vlogs right now. Everything is just very unorganized. Uh, uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, when I, we recorded this video, we were not at 30,000 and now we are. It's so crazy. We're just like all of a sudden growing. Not like super fast, but I think we get like 50 subscribers a day 
day now, which is amazing because remember before we would get like zero, maybe like a couple a day and now it's just like growing and growing. And you guys want to know which video is the one that's getting us subscribers of all videos. You guys want to know which one? The tornado vlog. Okay, so if you're an OG, you're like, oh, that's just any other vlog, but people are watching that vlog a lot. Like it gets a lot of hate. <laughs> But a lot of people like it too, so if you're here from the tornado vlog, welcome to the channel. I hope we can make more dramatic weather type videos for you. It is Texas, so who knows what to expect. <sighs> but yes, anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys for the 30,000. As promised, we will do a giveaway, um, but let us like get situated first with everything that's going on like we have no idea what the heck is going on um i'm very exhausted right now whenever enrique leaves for work and it's just me and the two babies it gets hard you guys right now they're actually being good but oh. this girl especially since she was with her cousins in california she like gets this attitude she's so sassy oh my goodness it's like not the victoria I used to know <laughs> And this one screams all day. She's not crying, she just loves screaming. She's gonna be a singer one day, I think. Anyway, well, that was it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one, which will be the 70s vlog. All right, so stay tuned. Bye. 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 Bye.